my name is Michelle Nguyen. I'm the founder and CEO of Paris Lash Academy, or PLA. Uh, today, I want to give you a tour of our flagship manufacturers in Vietnam. Headquarter is one of the five manufacturers that we owned in Vietnam. This one is the headquarter and it's actually built on my parents farmland and this is my, the house that I grow up in is actually next door. I kind of want to show you how your lashes that you love so much um, from PLA is being made. Follow me and kind of watch um, how it's being done. All of these is being break down in sections, but I'll walk you through like the very, very first step of doing professionally pro-made, so like commercial pro-made, not your regular handmade fans. Um, and I'll walk through why the way we, we do things the way that we do in a minute. So I'm standing at their, I call it mold table, where they actually put on individual eyelashes into this mold. So she's actually doing a 6D, um, 10 millimeter, and then we'll put them in a rut and roll them later. But what she does is she actually pick up hair individually and put them into this mold. So again, if I do these ProMate fan, I would just pick up a tweezers and make a fan and dip it into a glue and voila, I have my fan. But if I sell those to you, I'm gonna have so much quality control issue because they're never gonna look the same. So using a mold, it would allow us to control how wide the fan is, how even the fan is. This step is actually the most time consuming and labor consuming of the whole entire process. We have actually about, in this manufacturer, about a little bit over 100 people that do this step and majority of them actually work from home and we're able to take a lot of women out of farming in my town. My town is a really poor farm town so a lot of people work like on the field, they work on a coffee farm, they work on corn farm, very harsh working conditions um, and they get to work in-house or they get to work at home and make more than what they make obviously doing farming. Um, yeah so they kind of put the hair into individual mold and then they'll cut them, they'll measure them. This is where your measuring process also started. So I'm actually at the second step, which I consider the hardest physically on the lash technician's body. Well, pro-making lash technicians, um, which is the rolling on the rod. Normally, if you go to other manufacturers, you typically see this portion being done by men. Simple reason, majority of women quit the first three days when they're in training for this section because you have to roll all the lashes. When they come on a strip, you have to roll them in these rods. And these rods, you have them, you know, small, medium, large, go for C, 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 D, and it's different for different lengths, so on and so forth. But when you put them on, you have to roll them so incredibly tight that when you roll them that tight, majority of them get blistered the first, I'll say like three weeks of them doing this job. So you see a tons of women quitting. However, at this manufacturer's, majority of our women here came from farming. So it's, they work very, very hard working physical labor job and they don't really mind. Their hands have the callus for it. Um, yeah, they rolling these in and we'll show you the close up for it is very, very, actually a lot of hard work and I consider this one of the harder part physically. I'm at the oven baking lashes, which is where they put these lashes in a rod going into the oven because this is when they get baked to a certain temperatures and they hold their curve for like a really long time. So this part is very important to make sure that the lashes doesn't get flattened and, um, and different lashes will get baked in different temperatures. So here I have a tray of the rods already rolled up. They kind of look like this and then we are going to now follow me to the oven and bake them. Okay, so this is one of our few ovens. I would just now bake one tray and no more. And they say, Michelle, just in case you messed up. So I am going to now close the oven and turn it on. 
and our lead technicians will now adjust them to the temperatures that it has to be, and then it stays baking here. I'm now at the part where they take the lashes after already bake them in the oven to actually lay down on each of these individual boards. So they're gonna line all of these with lashes just like the tray that she has over here. So it's kind of gonna look like this. So we line them up, you know, nicely and then it's gonna go to the next sections where they're actually putting adhesive onto all of these lashes. If you look them close up, they're all kind of lined up perfectly. This is where we can make them in an XL box, an X express fan, or for individual lashes, we just take them off the strip. Yeah, for the loose fan lashes, we just take them off the strip. Next up, we are at the applying adhesive onto all of our Promate fan. So they'll hold the strip up and we brush a clear adhesive on the base of the lashes. After we apply them, uh, the adhesive, we use uh, tweezers and pinch the base of each individual fan to make sure that they're really skinny and snatch. I am now at my favorite spot where we actually take the lashes off the strip and then put them in, package them into these loose fan boxes. So people ask me all the time, how do you keep track of 500 going into a box and we used to weight them, but now with the new technique and the mold that we do, you see they taking in one of those boards, it has 17 strips. And in that 17 strip, there's 30 fans per strip, and that makes it 510 fans per entire box. So one of those cardboard go into a box, and then we always have a little bit extra, like 510, 515, so then that way you have a little bit extra for any fan that may get damaged or may not be super perfect. But see, they kind of put it down and they ripped them off the adhesive strip like this. And then they would just package that into an actual box. So at this step, they actually are taping the strip of lashes onto the XL label. I have here an XL label and what they do is they'll take the adhesive off the strip and now they are cutting, trimming every rear end and then they'll tape them on according to the sizes and then it'll go into the XL box and then voila, then you have your XL box. Come closer for a closer look. This is one of the final steps, which is quality control and final packaging, where all the lashes are given one last check to make sure everything is good, picked out all the lashes that are bad, all the fan that are a little bit more narrow or inconsistent, and then they go into the box. And this is it. This is the final packaging where everything gets um, labeled and then go into a plastic sleeve and then get in a box on the plane and then on the way to you. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching this super long video. I really appreciate you. I'm so proud to show you all the process of how we make our lashes and um, I hope you find it interesting and we are so grateful to be a part of your lash journey. Happy lashing. <laughs>